Are you coming at me, Mr. Beaver? Hey everybody, my name's Travis and this is Travis Does Kayak Fishing. I'm out here on Lake Hartwell. I launched the Lawrence Bridge. I've never launched there before. I kept saying I was going to, then I always changed my mind or got invited somewhere else and decided to go there instead. But I'm about to fish up toward Lake Isaquina's Dam, and then I'm gonna turn around and fish up the river the remaining part of the day. Uh, hopefully crankbaits, jerkbaits, it's, it's a little more stain than I anticipated up this way. But with all the washout we've had, this is actually not too bad compared to other places. I think I can get on the reaction bite, but we'll see. Uh, lipless, free rig, football jig, spinner bait, jerk bait, neko rig, and the crank bait are what I have lined up. Subject to change, of course, but let's see what we can figure out that's working. I got a couple new rods in the, in the setup today as well. This is one of them. It's a budget rod. It's just the Abu Garcia Vengeance. It was like $49. Uh, but it's a right-handed and I've always fished left-handed so we're gonna see if I can't catch a fish using a right-handed combo today it feels weird like casting is not that bad what's weird is just the retrieve and having the handle impact my fingers on that side but we'll get used to it Be ambidextrous. it's a beautiful morning though right but there goes that beaver Cranking. That's the first one on a right-handed rod, guys. That was weird, right? I pulled it off first thing in the morning. Let's get him back. For me, the most unique thing about the right-handed bait caster was the lack of power I had. It was very foreign feeling when I was doing hook sets, fighting the lure free on snags, or just generally reeling the fish in. Alright guys, that's two. That's even smaller than the first. Let's get him back and keep working the crank around these rocks up by the dam. See if we can get something decent. Up above here is Lake Isaquina and the water from the dam runs off into here and comes down. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm fairly certain it's still coming in from the Kiwi River. I'll look at the map and validate and put it down below for you. But I'm pretty sure all this is just Kiwi River into, emptying down here into this area. Hartwell, one of the Savannah Kings.
Doc Rope cost me one there. Now, I'll admit, he was super tiny. Still, that was a number. <laughs> I knew if I cast over there in that mess enough times, I'd piss off something. It's a decent fish. All right, guys, let's get him back from the Spro Little John. And then I want to talk to you guys here in a bit about the Spro Little John and what I think makes it an excellent crankbait year round. Conditions be down. What we're talking about here today is a flat-sided crankbait. That's the Spro Little John, the 50. They've got a, an MD50 that goes down even deeper. They may even have a 55, but that's just the MD50. That's really all you need. Uh, this is a lure. <laughs> this is a lure that comes out of cover really well. What makes this lure so different from a lot of the slim crankbaits is that rounded bill. It's flat on the edges and it protrudes out kind of oblong like. I don't know what the word for that is, so sorry if I get it wrong. But then it curves over the top. What this does is it gives it a unique deflection. When you're crawling down and you're hitting the bottom with it, this, instead of doing like a rock crawler or a traditional fat wobble crankbait, instead of hitting and bouncing back or just kind of jarring up, this one, more times than not, believe it or not, you'll hit and instead of like going up or back or even diagonal, he can come out sideways. I've seen him do it. He'll pop out sideways parallel, let him float up because he's a balsa, right? He's he's made of wood. I believe that's how you say it. I'm terrible with the words in case you guys don't know. Word salad is kind of my specialty. But that red crawl comes through this wood, this timber, this rock. It just bounces off. Even these dock cables, it hits up and quickly flips up and over because of that unique bill design that Spro has on this guy. Of course, being Spro, it comes with those VMC hooks, so they're super sharp as opposed to we'll say this slightly wider money badger not very large but slightly wider that may not be a badger that's a, a digger a slightly wider digger he's got more wobble in that traditional curved bill that even curves on the inside so his deflections are more prototypical to what you'd see from a lot of standard build lures but you get to this pro little john as I said, you get that unique bill style, you get that unique deflection, you get something that looks slightly different. So we're going to keep working him. That's three fish, one we lost, one was okay. That last one was decent based on the recent pole. He would have been in that 15 inch range. Uh, we'll take those guys. First bull go of the year. He made it out. Oh well, I'm out.
good looking catfish, man. Yes, you are. Yeah, I agree. All right, gosh. Just a little catfish. First one of 2024, first blue gut of the day, first catfish. Real small fish this way. I might turn around and go the other direction for the second half of the day. Again, spro, so catfish will eat that. It's a very catfish looking area. Muddy bank with some rock, some of this hard clay, and then you got the laydowns. Catfish like that shit. Probably some holes over here. Guys, that's another one of those decent ones, like 15 inches, maybe 14, 14, 15 long and skinny. We're gonna throw it back, see if we can get another one. That's uh, another fish down the right hand. It's some bluegill, some bass. We got a video, guys. Let's see if we can get one that counts up. All right, guys, so let's get them back and keep working these pockets. That seems to be where it's at. That's a pretty respectable bass, guys. All right, guys, there's another little one in the day. Let's get him back. I'm going to cast that same general area. Spots, man, they like to be together. I mean, all bass have a tendency to school up when it gets cold. But, yeah, spots, if you catch one, there's typically another one in the area. So I cast out there and my line apparently has an abrasion in it. So the lure 
it snagged up as I'm reeling in. I think it's a fish. I barely set the hook, not even hard. The line snaps. At this point, I'm trying to get over here. I'm trying to get to the line before it sinks. But it's gone. It snapped back fast and disappeared. And then I have an idea. I'm a big fan of the lipless crankbait. And I like to slow drag it across the bottom. What if I slow drag it through this little area for a couple minutes? Oh my god. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. Come here. Baby. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I got him back. The spro little John. All right, guys. I'm going to have to call it for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by. What worked was fishing the rocky pockets anywhere off the main lake. They seem to like headed up by the dam. I got a couple in there. Uh, I did get one on the main lake, but he was solo and isolated. And I proceeded to work the main lake for about four and a half hours get a lot of nothing. Started working back in the pockets of coves again and got on a bluegill, a catfish, started getting some some bass. But now I'm getting tired, getting hungry. It's been a long weekend extended. Uh, I caught fish with the right-handed Avro Garcia Vengeance, which I think is a great beginner's rod. It's only a $49 combo. combo. I've got 10 pound line on there. It actually needs 12. It did cause some grief today with the line getting down inside the spool. But the Spro Little John, that was the workhorse today. Everything I got was on that guy, and it was by design. He's a pretty easy one to fish right hand. You'll do a lot of cranking, and since I wanted to try and become a little ambidextrous out here to, to ease up the work on my hands sometimes, because I'm out here a lot, this was a, this was a great move. I got on fish, I had a respectable day, not a great day. Uh, definitely could have used a bigger fish here or there, or at least a couple more of that 15, 16 inch variety, but what can you say, man? It was a fun day on Hartwell crankbaiting. My first time launching from Lawrence Bridge Access, and I like the area. I don't think this is a very good summer spot because of traffic, but this is winter, so I can come here for another couple months and uh, and have a lot of fun, probably. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you on the next one. I don't know what the topic will be, but it, it'll be something new. Peace. Thanks for stopping by. YouTube thinks you'll like the video on the left. I really like the playlist on the right. If you haven't subscribed, please consider. If you like what you're seeing, like and comment. It really helps out the channel. See you on the next one. Thanks.